this premiere, really the second premiere, the world premiere, because um, uh, it's a new score. I was asked by my publisher to reduce the uh, orchestration because, you know, that time in, especially in Germany, there was a, no limit as far as the man is concerned for culture. So, uh, Lieberman uh, told me, "You can do what you what you want. You, how many instruments you you want?" I was young, and um, I wrote with a huge orchestra, maybe a hundred musicians. Who has a hundred musicians now in the opera house in Europe? I decided that I will rewrite the piece, but of course I started to reduce the orchestration, which is easy, but. And then, you know, uh, after, after so many years, 45 years, I wanted to change a lot, actually. The first score I wrote was um, exactly 206 pages. Now it is 351 or 52, so it's a, a one third, more than one third is, is new. Also orchestration is new, and I think that it sounds much better and different. And I read uh, the Huxley book, um, The Davies of Ludan, and uh, it was a f great f fascination for me. So I was also, I began to search and uh, reading around this story, many books uh, about uh, also the Inquisition, of course. And uh, also, uh, I discovered something which I didn't have much idea about, really. Um, the role of you know, the church, in a, in a, especially in the 17th century, 16th century. Um, I grew up um, uh, as a very Catholic family in a small city uh, in the south East South Poland, well, I, actually the, the criticism against uh, the, the church was not, not only allowed, but didn't exist at all. You know, it was a dogma. And after this book, actually, which opened my eyes, I changed. And uh, living in, um, in a very Catholic, Poland, which is to maybe 90 percent, 90, they say 95, I don't believe maybe, but, but there is really something like that. Uh, I wanted to write a piece which is uh, telling the truth. And of course this piece was also very much criticized by the church uh, in Germany. The premiere was in, in Hamburg and two days later, or maybe one day later, in Stuttgart a very Catholic uh, city, and the bishop wrote a very angry letter to the press. The same happened in, in Poland, of course, after the, the premiere. And it was in the same time, there was a premiere of devils in Rome. So the Vatican uh, wanted me to stop the performance. No, I, didn't, I didn't do it. So, I, I started to have a problem with the church, of course. Being very Catholic, but, you know, uh, trying to, to tell the truth. I was always doing something against, uh, in the music as well, you know, and, uh, my uh, avant-garde was, was really very avant-garde, maybe much more than, than, uh, than in other countries uh, living in Poland. Uh, already uh, in, a, my, in the time I was a student, we were rebelling. We were rebelling and we heard some news about uh, new music which is written in the, in the West Europe. Uh, we still were in a time of, of the 20s or 30s, as far as music is concerned. 
because of the electronic uh, studio which was um, established in Warsaw, I went to the studio, I was working there for two years. I heard the sounds of the electronic which I never heard before, of course. The, and it helped me to develop my music. And I think my pieces like Treno, the, the Polymorphia, um, other pieces written in the beginning of the 60s were very much inspired by, by electronic, actually, at that time. And this was something um, which happened also in the whole Europe. The, we wanted, the young people wanted to to be different, to, to write, to forget the, the, the past, uh, to build the future, writing different music. So. I was writing the film music for, especially for the experimental movies in Poland in the, in the 50s, in the beginning of 60s. Not the, the big uh, movies, no, no. I was writing only very, very interesting uh, uh, um, experiments, I would say, using a lot of electronic at that time. But later, um, my music was taken uh, to, for the um, big movies, Hollywood movies as well, uh, but this was not written. This was written as, as other pieces which they took. I gave permission, so like Kubrick asked me to write the music for his uh, Shining. I said, no, because, you know, I said, I'm busy. So, but I gave him some suggestion the, of the pieces that he, he's you, supposed to listen to. And then he did and, and took this music. And also many, many other, like the Vida now cutting uh, movie. But this was also because my, my uncle was killed in cutting. So, and his father was killed in cutting. So I wanted very much that my music will be in this movie. I was living not in an easy time. Uh, if I was, uh, I would uh, be born in uh, New Zealand. Maybe I would never write uh, the Polish Requiem or. Uh, pieces which were connected with the history, it was a war, of course not, but you know, this is my, my childhood. The, the war, death, there was main subject in, uh, also in, in, uh, in our family because we, we the other, uh, other the uncle was, was killed in, uh, by Germans in, in, uh, in Warsaw. Uh, another one was also uh, killed. So there always was somebody killed in the family. And uh, I, uh, our house was um, in the middle of, of town, but the, after uh, the back of our house, there was ghetto. I saw what really happened. Uh, to the people there. Uh, they were my colleagues, we, we played together, and then one day the, the ghetto was made and then they were, you know, uh, living there for, for a couple of months. Uh, and, um, and then uh, uh, sent to the Auschwitz or I don't know where. Being a child or being very young, you never uh, forget, so I think to, I, uh, that I had to write some music to first to say on, uh, on which side I am. So I wrote this huge uh, um, uh, requiem, which is a two, two hour almost, uh, dealing with uh, some um, uh, historical uh, moment like uprising, like, like cutting, like uh, the, the Maximilian Kolber dedicated to, to people like, like you. I think, this, uh, I think that I had to do it. I wrote also about Auschwitz, 
the victim, the um, uh, to the victim to Auschwitz. I took the texts not from Auschwitz and not about Auschwitz actually, but the, the apocalypse of the Johannes, which is the, the great literature as, as well, and very powerful still after 2,000 years. <laughs> No, uh, I didn't change much, really, uh, my music. My music uh, was changing very slowly, very slowly. It, uh, it begins with, began really when the time I was living. But this has the, the musical background more than uh, other. Uh, I, I used to live two, two years in, in Berlin and was going to the every week to the Philharmonic. And, um, um, and my first fascination on the music which I didn't know was Bruckner, because Bruckner was not played in Poland at all. Until now, actually, very rarely is played. And I've become you know, very much involved in this music, listening to the best possible performance of the Herbert von Karajan, and uh, so my music changed. Um, it was exactly after the Davis of Ladell. I was lucky to, um, to know such a people, to be very close to the people, like Isaac Stern. I, first, I wrote for him the violin concerto, and he performed it in New York, and, and, and in the other cities in, in Europe. Um, then I met the Rostropovich, and uh, we became very good friends. And so I wrote for him uh, five pieces, actually. And even he was already sick, so he asked me to write the last piece he's going to play. And I did. I did it. It was four or five months before he died, really. He played by in the music for I in Wien. And I, I and Sophie Mutter, I, I knew her from the time in in Berlin. And uh, she she is a phenomenal uh, musician and and as well as a virtuoso, of course. Um, and so I wrote for her the Metamorphosen. Because of such a great musician who played my music, of course, my, my, it helped very much uh, my music. Sometimes mm, the passages, they were almost impossible to play. They do. They play. And so I feel uh, that I can really develop you know, something, be uh, without any limit. were actually occupied by, by, by Russia for 45 years. You know, not direct, but it was. Uh, there was no uh, politic um, uh, possible without asking Moscow. You know? So there was a befrying and, uh, and the joy, of course, the avant-garde. Not only avant-garde, even Stravinsky was forbidden because he was a Russian living in America uh, in a capitalistic country. Of course, it was not played. Even Bartok was the same. He was play, living in, in New York. It was not played. So we were, <laughs> this is hard to believe in a, such, a, such time we, we have to live. Artists don't need so much to to be connected with a group, uh, uh, we, we build, uh, build a, a group, actually. But um, we were uh, separatists. Uh, we didn't um, have, I knew very uh, good, uh, of course, Lutoszewski was my friend, but we didn't meet and discuss music. No, no. Also with Goretzky, who we met maybe five times in our life. 
No, no. Uh, I think the the old artists I re I I remember from the past was uh, they were really lonely. Me too. Now, because of the um, uh, possibility to, to push the, something and you hear at, at home everything you want, uh, become very easy and also there is not such a big difference between the kind of musical language we are using and the pop musician are using, also the, the electronic, um, uh, I have a couple, three concerts now with um, uh, Johnny Greenwood. 50,000 people were coming. I mean, young, young people, young uh, um, people. Very much enthusiastic and uh, listening also not only to Greenwood music, but also to my music, which is not easy. I mean, music from the beginning of 60s is really, uh, really something. Uh, so, I think we are now much closer than we were uh, 40 years ago or 30, 30 years ago. Now is, uh, is a time there is no need to change anything, I think. To, to do it, to make it better maybe, but not, not change. Because we are happy, we are the member of the European Union. We change for good now. The art is popular, but it's not so important that it was in the, in the 60s and 70s.